Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in the last episode we got the space station built. I didn't document that very well but I'll do that later on. And I think it's time to carry on. Maybe this is the last quest we're going to do. I don't know. Let's have a look. So what I'm going to do is this quest now. So we've got to make a CO2 scrubber, an oxygen vent and a carbon collector cartridge. We get for that loot chest. So let's start with that one shall we. Out round. So now we've got a CO2 scrubber. I've actually got this stuff already prepared on this list here, so we can do that. So that's basically one steel fan, motor, and a carbon brick. Now a carbon brick's made from charcoal. Charcoal is actually slightly tricky in this pack, but I found a reasonably good way of setting up charcoal. So let's have a look at that in a second. So we can make the scrubber. The next one was an oxygen vent I, I have to check it we need this one carbon collection cartridge this is the iron sheet which is to set basically a plate rolled twice and some iron bars so i think we can make one of those and let me just double check that recipe i think it might be a vent i'm not 100 percent sure it is an oxygen vent yes so that's similar we've got a, just a fuel tank all of these things we've made before so i'm not going to spend any time making them on camera and that completes co2 let's have a look if we've actually completed that quest claim that road and back so we've actually completed other worlds but it's a bit poor really <laughs> i'll be honest with you where's the end to this pack what is the goal because i would have thought you should have a goal and to do this and overpowered i don't think is really a goal in itself time lord Hmm, I'm a bit stuck. Oh, I did completely wake and drink. We didn't claim that reward. Let's do that as well. So that is a problem with the pack, which we don't know where we're going. That I think is actually pretty bad. In fact, I will put those into there because that, oddly enough, are useful. Even though the old chests, we can make the ordinary chests out of those, and we get a heavy plated shield from most of engineering, which I guess we can put into our shield slots. Where's it gone to? Oh yes, that looks definitely like a reasonable shield. I don't know whether that gives us any extra benefits. Oh yes, we can see through it. <laughs> it's a right shield, isn't it? So that's completed that. Oh yes, let's go and have a look at how I've been doing charcoal. But I'm waiting for the noise to go down. If we have a look at the recipes for charcoal, I can get rid of this stuff now, can't I? We can actually get it by smelting. Um, so, but we've got um, 24, something like that. So look, no, 22 types of wood. So we can do redwood bark, different forestry woods. That's a new chair, that's redwood wood and pear wood from pear, peach and fruit wood basically I suppose from, from uh, terra aquas aqueous whatever it's called so let's go and have a look at my little setup over here so this is the botanical mine and it's basically been picking up things like different types of wood it's also picking up different types of saplings so for example here we've got a cherry sapling now it might be possible so look at the uses of this cherry sapling i'm just wondering whether we can actually plant it no we can't we can't put this one into a bonsai hopper so you can simply plant it and then harvest it harvest the wood and get it that way same probably with this one i guess but that's the apple sapling Yes, so these ones you can't do too much with. So those are the what's it? Terra aqueous trees. So the next one was I think redwood from Natura. Now I don't know what, if we got a redwood sapling from Natura, but we do get the odd one, like a silver ball sapling. Let's have a look at these uses of this one. So we can put that into a bonsai hopper, and we will get silver ball wood, silver bells. 
uh, silver bells wood okay now we can smelt that and that will produce charcoal so that's one way to do it silver bells stop playing in fact let's take the silver bells wood from where has it gone to i did see it a second ago I th oh i didn't know i should look, look for it did i tell you what we'll do let's take this sapling out here and go and plant it I think I'll plant it away, away from the dead stuff and just put it down here and for, yeah, let's get some bone meal out I think it's probably see if we can bone meal this tree I'm thinking a bit I've got to remember which keyboard I set, a key I set it to I've forgotten <laughs> let's see if we can bone meal the sapling up there we go so that's what type of tree that one is so we can simply then harvest this tree and we should get some more saplings we only got one that's not ex exactly a huge number Let's try again oh we got another one so we did actually get a second one of course i could use my other tool for doing that might have been more sensible let's try this one no okay then we can take the wood and then we can put the sapling down again let's take this out of here that's another sapling where we know it grows what i've done is i found another one which i find let's go and look at that one i think it's willow Yes, it's willow. It's willow. It's willow wood, and this one will also give us. Um, let's get this out of the way. Sapling. This was. We can also smell. That's uh, the weeper. <laughs> Good name. Willow. Weeping willows. Um, so let's go and see if we can do that. That's how I've been basically getting charcoal. So we should be able to do this because that's what I've been using and we should also be able to use silver burst wood like that so we now have those actually we've got eight which is fine so that's one way to get charcoal probably the easiest way as it happens if you can find if you can find the thing so right now I'm not sure what to do let's have a look I'll have a quick look at some of the quests maybe we should start and do some more of the quests from well advanced rocketry is finished oh yes that's right I built the satellite, didn't I? Unfortunately, I haven't done anything with that satellite. But really, the satellite's there for um, astro mining. Ah. I need hydrogen tanks, I've just been told by Sir Harry, for the jetpack. Where are the hydrogen tanks? This one. How do I get that one? A bucket of water in the ele electrolyzer. Maybe we can try that actually. Let's get a bucket of water. Unless there's a different type of tank. I thought these were just empty ones. Alright, well, I'll fix that in a second. So let's go and get this data. What we have to use is a data, Astro Body Data Processor. Because that's basically all you're using this one for is to make, um, to scan the data coming in. And I think that's all we need. Let's go and have a look. Let's go back down to the rocket. I guess it needs power. I'm not 100% sure. We'll put it down here. Oh no, it needs something else. In fact, ah oh yes, that's right. It is a multi-block structure, this one. Let's just pick it up. Now, let's put it down. Uh, yes, let's just put it down somewhere over here. I know it's a multi-block structure because I do remember now. I think it's got lots of bits and pieces on it. So let's go and have a look at that in the back and get out the Halo projector. So what do we need? We see I haven't bothered doing the observatory. This one here. So we need three data buses, five stone slabs, one hatch, one output hatch, and a power plug. Okay, let's have a look what we've got in our bag. Nothing. <laughs> right. In that case, we shall go and get some out of the out of the system. Um, 
Right, let's get out of the system my infinite booster card and see what we can do for this one. So we need an input and an output hatch. So we need two chests for that. I know because I'm in difficulty seeing those. No. Nope. It's because I can't see it because I've got this one here. So we need an input plug. Should be able to do one of those. Good. Uh, a bit full on the inventory side, just enough space in here. Let's just let's just get rid of some of this stuff as well. What can I do with the? Oh, I know. We can put we can definitely put the wood the wood away, so we can get rid of that. And possibly put the ME interface away. Don't need that with it, so that's fine. And we'll also put away the flux. Or um, whatever it was, a flux uh, um, fertilizer. So now. PowerPoint done that one input hatch. Oh, let's try again. I keep pressing the wrong button, I do apologize. So input hatch. Now we run out of chests. But we should be able to make a chest. Let's go back to the input hatch here. We can certainly should be able to do it this way. We Oh, energy is low. Right, okay. I won't use that in that case because I don't have that much energy. Let's go back to the, the world and do it here. So we need some. Well, it's got plenty of wood here. Let's take some of this. Oh, let's clear it off. That oak might be the best, wouldn't it? I thought I'd got some oaks planks around. Well, not enough obviously. We'll just take a stack of those and shove that back in there. So we should be able to make the chest now. So we can go... This one will certainly work. We can make three chests because of those uh, that last reward that we just got. So we can then make an input hatch. Now we need a data processor, don't we? And I think the data processors are basically little blue blocks or got blue in them, something like solar generators, microwave receivers, solar panels. This one. That's the Astro Body Data Processor. Data buses, good. And I haven't got any of those, so I bet I've got those in the back here. My ooh, I haven't got any. Let's go and have a look at the recipe for these. This is one of the ones which is slightly complicated. Yeah, emeralds, basic circuits, and redstone. Now, basic circuits we've got plenty of. Let's take 12. How am I going to do this? <laughs> oh, difficult. Right click it. I'll tell you what, put one there like that. 12 of those. Redstone. I haven't really haven't got enough space in my inventory. Let's get rid of some stuff I've got. Tell you what, let's open up the bag. We don't need that and the vent and the scrubber. That should be enough. Emeralds. Oh, that works nicely, doesn't it? Tell you what, we know where the emeralds are. The straight ahead of us. Let's pick up those directly. I've got redstone already, but I'll put some more in. Uh, emeralds and basic circuits. Hopefully that's the right one that's been produced. It's good. So I've already got some basic circuits and I wasn't very careful making sure everything's empty. But fortunately, most of the recipes don't overlap. So we need the data buses. Right, so we need two more of those. And I think that's everything that we need to make this. Let's go down and erect this thing. Now, I guess it's one block behind this. Let's put it there. 
I'm pretty sure that goes to the mig middle there anyway. So we've got power plug there and output hatches. Okay, power plug. Input hatch, we need an output hatch. Three data buses. And then the next layer. I think we need another probably need another input hatch here. Oh, I suspect the input hatch is supposed to be here. That would make sort of more sense. Data processor goes here. So the input hatch must be in the here must be here, so I'm gonna guess just from what I see. And the rest of it's stone slabs. So we need some slab stone. Let's have a look. Um now that probably since my thing is running out, let's get it from this way. But unfortunately this doesn't work very well together, so let's get rid of that. Stone slabs. There we want six, so we really want three of these, don't we? Five, in fact, is what we want. That should do the job. And I think that's everything. Let's just right click that, good. So obviously it needs power. So hopefully we've got another one of those connectors around. Look, stuck things, where are they? Haven't have to make another one. I'm sure. I see we've got ten. I'm sure we have. So there we are. Don't need that anymore. We can put that away. And I'll take the configurator out. So this has now got power. So now we need to put some chips into these. I think. Store the chip. We should have some data. Now, where's the data going to be? Ah, uh, I, I'm not hundred percent sure. And I think about it because we have got chips. Oh, I wonder if we have to go to the the monitoring station. No, can't do. Satellite. Nope, we don't have it in here. So we built the thing, so we sent it up. And if we don't get it in through there, we get it in through this. I think we get it in through this. Maybe I'm wrong. I think I've forgotten. Let me have a quick look at rocketry again. See what we've got available for ourselves. We need a receiver, I would think. Do you know, I ain't 100% sure. Let's have a look for hydrogen in here. So it's telling us that and hydrogen in the electrolyzer. Okay, let's get a bucket of water out and see if we can actually do that. There's some as a bucket. Let's go and get a bucket of water. Um, might might have changed this to be honest with you because I don't remember. Let's turn this off. So that should empty out and we should be able to put into this thing here and the input hatch so we've got two output hatches and the middle one electrolyzer power input plug power input plug oh maybe it's here 
if this should carry on working because it should be getting it should be pushing oxygen into here hydrogen into here and rocket fuel into oh it's rocket fuel fuel sorry the rocket fuel is full so i need to get some way of getting that out of there let's take another couple of buckets out actually i can't click them i thought i could no, maybe i can click it in here look nope i can't get the fuel <laughs> can't put the fuel into buckets i can put it into tanks of course i've got some tanks rocket fuel empty So that should, now it's got eight. Now we should be able to put that back in here. Oh, I do apologize about this, it's daft. I really have forgotten, I really, I did work, I did check up in just a while ago, but unless you're actually doing the one thing you want to do, sometimes you forget. So that hopefully would be going down in here. Not yet. I guess there's a lot of, I guess there's a lot of hydrogen and oxygen in here. I just saw that's going down good so how do we we can't put buckets in there obviously not it wouldn't be allowed in the jetpack I must have done it half right Where's my workbench? Can I put this workbench into here? No, you can't put anything into this. I still expect this to fill up. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to make it if it couldn't. Uh, let me just check the recipe for this thing. So it's any form of pressure tank, which is what we used. Empty ones, of course. And the uses of that, we don't have any uses of this as such, just that. Yeah. I don't really understand. I'm pretty sure you should be able to f have some hydrogen tanks. Ah, oh, yes, I know what he's talking about. Gosh. I figured it out. It took me a while. Let's get some tungsten out of the system. Uh, titanium, I mean. So we've got 12. I need four pieces for a tank, don't I? I think that's right. Let's have a look at the uses of that one. Oops. What I don't get. I'm pressing U and I'm here. I'm focused here and I'm pressing U and it's typing U up here. I do not understand how this thing works. If you press uses on this one, it'll type it again into that line. If I just here and then press use, no, I'm still doing it. Don't get it. <laughs> try, try again. Uses. So we can. Oh, we can roll it. It's a rolling machine. And this is that one. We want four. Two. We are alright. We need two. Good. We'll make two of those. Actually, that's four. Four's fine. We'll do that. I made a steel one just to see what that was like. Of course, I can use that. That makes. That makes. That makes tanks as well. That is the only use for the steel, for the steel one. So we've got two tanks now. So now I should be able to fill these up with hydrogen. I'm sure I tried. Yep, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Have we got hydrogen? Hydrogen. Yep, yeah, we've got two hydrogen. So now I'll be able to put this onto the, into the workbench. So we can put two tanks of hydrogen and the jetpack, and take it out again. Oh, I should be able to fly with this thing. Let's go and see if we can. That's really the boots I need because they're the ones with the padding in, isn't it? It 
it's not showing me hydrogen in here but we must have hydrogen because we would stand on here it would charge up i think that's something else so how do we activate the jetpack let's have a look again at controls i think it might be x but yep i think that's a jetpack plus a five indeed that's a jetpack working now i do not see on the left hand side the markers why not because i haven't got the helmet on yes of course you need the helmet to see the rest of the bit ah so there's the hydrogen now showing up on there fantastic and you go got oh, straight up to the roof no problem at all <laughs> thank you very much so harry that's a good tip i'd completely forgotten about that so now that, that's that's that part done for now we've got flight which is great because it means you can fly around the space the space station so i think that's then everything isn't it but i'm pretty sure you need more than one co2 scrubber when you actually when you actually go to the space station i think you need two because i think they need power so now let's have a look at the data bit i shall be back in a second Oh, I've remembered. Satellite terminal is what we need. Huh. I think I'm not sure I've built one of those, have I? I don't think this looks doesn't look too familiar. Let's have a look. What do we have on it? So two optical sensors. That shouldn't be too difficult. This is the thing that we need to actually get the, uh, the data from. Now, I don't know if I can connect these together again I don't know how we connect the buses in this particular pack since the data bus doesn't exist or it's deprecated so we'll this one data cable I don't know how we actually link this one to the actual machine well, I'll tell you what we'll do probably needs power so it doesn't matter too much we'll see if we can actually do it rocket so, if I put the satellite terminal down here like that, I see it does look slightly different. So there's no link. So what we do need is a satellite ID chip that we produced earlier on. Now that will be this one, unknown. So we put this into the machine here, and then we click connect. And it should connect, destroy satellite, no link. Mm-hmm you would normally put a chip into here like this I think and it should link up to the satellite that we've created is that the wrong chip maybe I've got another one around well there certainly aren't any more in there are there and I'm pretty sure we would have put it into that let's have a look in the system see if we've got any more back no I'm just wondering if I've got any more chips around. I don't think we have. And it's a bit strange that he would have lost that connection because it doesn't matter about things like time and stuff like that. No, I can't see it. Well, they are then. That's, <laughs> that's put a blocker on that one. So that should have been planet unknown, but an optical set telescope. Well, that's great. It is definitely an optical telescope. But I don't know where that would have gone to. Okay, but well, that's what you do. But I don't know how we get the data across anyway, except for using the chips. I suppose we could use the chips. Now, while I'm, I think while I'm over, I was coming over here to look into this, wasn't I? So we got 44 erodium crystals don't think that's enough by any way to make to make the next machine we could actually try it so for example i can simply shift click those into there like that <laughs> and they'll put across they'll just sort of automatically feed into here like this until you get to nine as soon as you get to nine it'll make that so we just need some in fact, let's take this off. Don't need this on the moment. Let's put that into this bag. I can't. Wrong place. Misclicked. And we can't. 
put these on as such like that. We have to either shift. I think that's to do with the handy bag, in fact. Just right clicking them afterwards is fine. So let's pick up some living stone, living living rock, and do I need this and this? You have to be quick if I'm going to do it like this, actually. So right click that and right click that before the magnet picks it up. Now that should carry on again. Unless, yes, there it is. Or we could simply right click it with an empty hand. I don't know whether you can do this as well. That would be quite neat if you can do this, but uh, I guess you can. <laughs> so you can do that. And it'll put the next ones in. Uh, she's trying to put these in first, which isn't right, they won't work. So if I'm far enough away, it might actually work. That's ready. And it's put that in there. Put one of, let's put one of those in there quickly and right click this now. I was just trying a bit of automation really. We've got 14, we're not going to get anywhere near enough in those. These will just come out until, because I've got the magnet on, it's pulling them out of there. Like that. So we've got four blocks of erodium ore, which is not bad actually but I don't think that's enough let's go and have a look what we can actually do with this stuff so we would like to make a tier 2 ore miner that's what I'm really want to would like to make I think for the time being rocketry between episodes I'll finish off the space station I think um, so we need to do this so we need six blocks for that, and I've only got four. So I'm, I'm can't do it yet. The rest of it, we could actually make one of these again. That wouldn't be too difficult. What do we need? All right. So we've got the interconnects. We just need the debt, and I think those are in here. Look, we've got the threat blocks in here. Interconnects, and it was the other one was the uh, diode. Now the diode might be in this chest here because I'm pretty sure we've got an extra diode. No, we have good. What I was thinking about doing is to make a, a tier one and upgrade that to a tier two. And I'm missing one thing, also, I'm missing a lens. That shouldn't be too difficult. Just an ordinary lens is what I want. <laughs> oh, come on, there we go. So, we should be able to do this. So, we then we could sort of start to do this. So we get four of those. What else would we need for that? Another lens. So then we just need two blocks. The reason I need to, do, to make one of these first is we don't know how many um, blocks of for the st structure tier that we need. We'll need some structure tier, tier two. So let's have a look at that one. So we would need some structure tier twos, which is this one. So we need a structure tier one. That's no big deal. We can do that. No big problem at all. There's inter lots of interconnects and some lithorite. And tier two is erodium. So I'd have to get enough erodium to make these. So it's two for each one. But we don't know how many of these we need yet because we don't have the book. So we need a lot more erodium before we're going to get to doing being able to do that, unfortunately. But for the time being, what I'm going to do is take this stuff out of here like this. Put that in the bag. Over here, so we've got everything together that we need. That's a clear, they're both clear lenses, aren't they? So that's, I'm going to just take the stuff off here as well. Now, the way to get this off here is you shift right click it. I think with a bit empty hand we should be able to. It doesn't always work, and I never. I don't know why. I think if you put the wrong thing on it like this, then you can shift right, click it off. Maybe ah yes, of course. I 
bet it's to do with having something in your right hand. Yeah. Indeed it is. Look at that. So if we do it like this. Should we shift, should be able to shift right click these off. So what have we got at eight? So we need quite a lot more erodium before we can finish doing that. Which is a shame because I really want to get that finished. But we can only find out what we've got until we've actually until we've got one of those made and then we can shift left click it with the assembler. So until next time I wish you all the best. It's not I don't know where I'm going with this pack now. It's as far as I can see we've got nowhere to go just tasks which is a bit pointless really isn't it anyway until next time bye for now